This is pit one, dense till. Wanted to show you some interesting characteristics here. The surface horizon is pretty well eroded. It's not super deep. So this is where we took your surface textures from right in here. Very thin surface horizon. We start, we start seeing the dense till characteristics starting here and down throughout the profile. We get a lot of acid reaction. As you can see by the fizzing right there in the secondary horizon. And it continues with violent re reactions pretty much down throughout the entire profile. So pretty characteristic of dense till. So unsurprisingly, we have a limiting layer with that dense till and very poor, uh, very poor drainage as a result. So our findings here, ultimately we called this Parent material till, a slope of three to six percent. We're on an upland hill slope. The surface color here is brown. Previous erosion is severe. You can see there's a very, very thin surface horizon. The surface texture was medium. We'll texture that for you here in a few. Uh, the subsoil texture, moderately clayey. Natural soil drainage was somewhat poorly, and the limiting layer here was dense till, zero to 20 inches. And go ahead and this other part. This is the surface texture. get a real weak ribbon and it's soft see to me it comes out a 10 way r34 when I'm holding it there this is the subsurface texture. And it does smear a little bit, but doesn't have the shine that it would normally have being clay. So therefore it's marley clay on the, surf the subsoil texture. You use a ribbon that supports itself. This is pit two, letting you get a look at the landscape so you can see where you're at. So for pit two, we are at a home site. It's calcareous below 42 inches. We had you judge parent material between 22 and 36 inches. This is not a flat land form. This is not weak soil development. Potassium is at 210, phosphorus is at 50, pH is at 5.5. Septic tank, we've got a D value of 7, a G value of 1200, and an R value of 4. Slope is 0 to 2%. This is pit 2. You can see the surface here. And moving down, you can see where that black surface turns into a little bit of gray material. You can see as the pit breaks out, we're starting to get into the till materials. Pretty beautiful. 
beautiful pit. Let's look at how it reacts. All right, no reaction at the surface. <coughs> no reaction until we get down. <coughs> Here. And there's really nothing there. Huh. But I mean, it's till, but it's not calcareous. So, pretty fun little pit. We have ourselves weathered till that won't react. Like what we saw in the other pit. We had a reaction in pit one, but not a reaction in pit two. So you get a good example of two different types of till, weathered till and unweathered till. All right, so for this pit, we called it till, zero to two percent, uh, upland swell, black surface, none to slight erosion, medium surface texture, moderately clay subsoil, poorly drained, and uh, no limiting layer within 40 inches. Now we're doing the surface texture for pit two. <laughs> I'm sure no soil judger has ever had to deal with getting a rock in their texture. I mean, look how it's breaking apart. There's no shine to it. There's no stickiness. It's soft. I mean, yeah, you get a small ribbon, but then it doesn't support itself. So, that's where... I think we're in a silty clay loam or a clay loam, a loamy soil. All right, let's so, take a look at that subsurface, or I guess we want to look at the color. Look at the color. We're looking at the color for the surface at pit two. And you can see that it's a dark surface. Comes in at a three two. Yep. You could say three three, but it's right there in the dark area. Mm -hmm. There's no question that it is dark. All right, this is the subsurface texture for pit two. You see the smear. You see it right there. This is pit three, and we're gonna take a minute to really emphasize the field depression landscape here. Um, as you walk into the pit, we're right in a slight dip in the landscape which has given this pit some unique properties. We did not mean to give you a tricky, tricky landscape here. Okay. This is pit three surface. You can kind of see, this is an agriculture site, calcareous below 40. We're gonna judge parent material from zero to 20 inches. This is a, not a flat landform. This is weak soil development. 
phosphorus at 15, potassium at 30, pH at 6.4, slope 0 to 2 percent. That's look at the black stuff in there down here in the bottom. Yep, you can definitely see there is a lot of black material at the bottom of this pit, whereas the surface is a lighter brown. And we'll be showcasing the differences when we do the texture and color demonstration. So we have local overwash, a 0 to 2% slope. This is a filled depression as evidenced by the brown surface and the black subsurface. Uh, this is a none to slight uh, erosion, medium surface texture, moderately clay, uh, poor natural surface drainage, and no limiting layer within 40 inches. This is the surface for pit three. There's a not heavy clay here, that's for sure. All right, now we'll show you the color. On the 10YR page, you can see that this texture is, I'm sorry, <laughs> colors out to be uh, brown soil. Subsurface for pit three, much darker. cell chart. You can see that that is a black subsurface. Alright. We're at pit four now. Agriculture site 42 inches uh, is where you hit calcareous material uh, we're gonna judge parent material from 32 to 40 inches this is a flat landform I'm sorry this is not a flat landform this is not weak soil development we've got phosphorus at 110 parts per million potassium at 260 parts per million pH is 6.1 and a slope of 0 to 2 percent give you a bird's eye view of the pit location on the landscape and I'm gonna highlight the parent material that we find at the bottom of this pit this solid sand layer is what we were trying to use to clue you into the outwash here welcome to pit four Here's our surface horizon. I'm going to 
as we go down through the pit. You can see there's a lot of grays from near surface all the way down. And then at the bottom, we get into this sandy outwash material that was a bit of a surprise, honestly. <laughs> So just a little bit of some soil development background. All of this material above the outwash is all going to be much finer in texture than the sand is. And so the reason that we're ending up with a lot of this poor drainage color development here is because when soil water moves through smaller pores into larger pores in sand, it holds water in the tiny pores until it reaches saturation, and then it allows it to go into the sandy material. So this ends up being essentially a perched water table in this entire horizon. That's why you see all of this color development. So for pit four, we had outwash lacustrine deposits for the parent material, zero to 2% slope, outwash lacustrine depression for the landform, a black surface color is a 10 yr 33 or 32. Previous erosion was none to slight. Surface texture is medium. Subsoil is moderately clay. Natural soil drainage was somewhat poorly. And the limiting layer was none within 40 inches. Now, to show you the surface texture, we have a little demo here. Here's the color for the surface. Oops. 10 wire 3233. Three. Somewhere in there. So, in the subsurface texture, we get into moderately clay. You can see if you really work this texture, you get really long, stiff ribbons. 